So now what we want to do is actually send a flash message after the form has been created and done successfully. Um, so any sort of form, whether it is on our edit function, if I hit create post here, uh, it actually should tell me that it's been successful. Of course, we want to make sure the server is running. Um, otherwise, it just like seems like we didn't do anything. Um, and if it's updated, it would do something. If it wasn't updated, it doesn't really matter. Um, but either way, I'll just say successfully saved. And that's what we'll do. Um, so to do this, we're going to come in and import from Django.contrib import messages and we're going to be using the mess the Django message framework so messages.success and it takes in the request and then we'll just say a message successfully created and of course here I'm saying that it's successfully created um, if the form is valid so if it's not valid we could say messages failure so I can copy this and say messages error and then not successfully created stuff like that so if it's not valid then it's going to do that and show validation errors if it is valid it will um you know just successfully create it and then redirect it we'll see this in action in just a moment but that's something that's kind of cool so i'm going to also use this for form valid down here i'm not going to say if it's not valid and i'll just say successfully saved or just saved or item saved however you want to call that um cool so let's go back into the Django documentation for the messages framework. And you can read a lot about how all this stuff works. But essentially what's gonna happen is it's gonna send one little message. So on the next request that they have, they're gonna see this message and that message will show up to them and it's gonna only show up one time, um, which of course is something that we'll actually look at itself. Here are some of the methods that we actually used. So we did success and error. There's a few others that you can use, obviously, um, but in this case, success and error is pretty much what we want to see. Warning might be something that you do if they um, didn't successfully um, add a file or something like that. Now, displaying these, we just use it in our templates. So I'm going to use it um, as far as the built-in templates itself. So inside of, I'm going to put it into post detail, and we're going to paste it inside of right underneath the body we'll say if messages and this is how it's done so this is going to go through every sort of message that would come through on that request which we can see in just a second so if i go into edit and hit create post now i see that it says item saved so if i wanted to have multiple messages showing up there i totally could and i can say it like new save or whatever um, you can write several messages here if you need. So going back and edit, and then it'll show us that list of what those messages would be. Um, so one of those things would be like, oh, you have saved three of your four items saved, and you've saved three of your four projects that you can save this time. You know, stuff like that, where it might actually have different messages of what you might need them to actually say. And then of course, as far as the template is concerned, you would you could have a variety of different sorts of messages in here. Now messages tags, that's another thing that you could actually add. Um, so if we hit create post, we go into inspect element here. And what we see here is we have a tag or a class called success. So the tags itself is success. We can add another tag in there by going into our view and into our message itself and doing comma extra tags equals to some dash tag. Save that in here, go back, create this post, and what we'll see inside of our message itself is now we see some tag and success. So it's showing different tags that you can have, and you can use those as classes. They don't have to be classes. Uh, you can use it for a variety of things, um, such as one of them being safe. We'll do, this is something that you might end up using, so HTML safe. So item, and I'll just say a href equals to hashtag that just to show you an example of what you might use with this tags. So we refresh in here, let's go back into edit and hit save. Notice that it's not rendering the HTML tag. Um, so it's actually just showing it as a string, right? But since I put in the messages tag of HTML safe, I could come back into our templates here and we'll say if 
HTML underscore safe in messages tags, then we can do message safe else message. Save that in there. Oh, we need an end if, of course, end if. Uh, so this is that syntax error that, is, that I accidentally didn't do. So if you open an if, you need to close that if. That's true with any block. So now we come in here and hit create post, and now it's showing that actual link coming through. Of course, it's not actually linked anything, but the point is, is how you can actually use those message tags themselves. Um, so that's pretty much it for messages. If you have any questions on that, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.